Hello and welcome everyone to the NAS back to the NASCAR Ignition Career Mode and guess what? Today we head to a new track and I want to check my reputation here. Uh, Team Penske is falling in love with me apparently. Um, that's good I guess. I do not know where I'm going to go with Team Penske but um, but that ain't going to team. That's not the team I'm going to go with for next season. But um, let's go to our calendar here and let's sim qualifying here. Even though I never ran here, I'm not gonna practice for qualify just because. Oh, why not? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, look at these finishes here. We have two top 20, a top 30, uh, two top, a top 20, a top 30, and a top five. So, um, and we got top 10 at the Daytona Road Course, um, which was which we got 11. And now it's going to qualifying here. And I'm going to say this right now: it will not, they'll not be Joe Logano probably, but. Uh, let's go down to the exit park, Texas Grand P. Where we have, or pretty not P. Oh, <laughs> where we have Alex in. Alex, take it away. Welcome to Austin, Texas for the first ever NASCAR Cup Series race at Circuit of the Americas. I'm Alex Hayden and we're at one of America's newest road courses known for hosting some of the most high profile motorsports in the world. This track is full of elevation changes and tight technical turns that are sure to challenge the drivers today. the excitement of the fans as the drivers get ready for the command. Let's head trackside here at Circuit of the Americas. Here comes the star of the first ever at Grand Prix. We're away from Circuit of the Americas. We're only just one lap here. So the green and white flags are automatically in hand now. Dylan Walker is the race leader. Uh oh, he gets a little wide there. Here Gonna go through the S's now. By the way, this is a new venue, obviously, here in the NASCAR Cup Series circuit. Here comes Chase Elliott. He's the defending champion here, and he's a road course ringer. You know that. He won four in a row between 2019 and 2020. Winning at the Roval, Charlotte Roval. Or winning at Watkins Glen, the Charlotte Roval. The Daytona Road Course and the Charlotte Roval again. Still looking for his first win of the season today. Could that happen today at Circuit of the Americas? Oh, it gets a little... Oh, man, why? Why there again for Dylan Walker? He has two wins on the season. Trying to get Ty Kyle Larson's win record this season with three wins. Oh, here comes Joey Logano. Oh, man, he corner cut it there a little bit. That's no consequences here. Now here, front stretch, the back stretch here, went nearly 180 miles an hour for the driver from Iowa. That says the fastest he's ever gone, he says, what I, it was at Daytona this year. Oh, loose! <laughs> Saves it though, I thought he was going to get around there, I think he thought he was going to get around. Here comes Logano, oh, he overshoots, overdrives the corner. That's going to allow Joey Logano to take the lead now. Logano to the lead here at Circuit of the Americas. And just the final few turns of this race. Walker loose again there. What can Logano, what can Walker do to get up to Logano now? We're almost coming up to the final turn here. And the final of the first race here. Walker sends it in. Oh, Walker gets to his back bumper nearly there. It's going to happen here. This is coming to the final turn. Dylan Walker makes contact with Joe Logano. They both get him loose. Hamlin is a year in third place. Hamlin, they both make contact. Oh, they both slow down. They both make contact. Jenny Hamlin will become the tenth ever winner this year, and he'll sneak through to win at Coda. Danny Hamlin's your race winner. Wow. 
Danny Hamlin is your race winner here. Uh, we get fourth place here, Logano second. This is the rest of your finishing order here. At Coda. Uh, Joey Gates finishes last year. Congrats to Denny Hamlin. Let's go see your playoff standings. Your standings will follow fourth in points because Denny Hamlin now becomes a tenth for winner this year. Six drivers um, are in the playoffs without a win. Those being Truex, Elliott Logano, Blaney, Byron, and Bush. Kurt Bush. Um, for some reason, Tyler Reddick was highlighted. So, yeah. So, Denny Hamlin gets his 45th career win. His first on the season. See you guys. That's Coke at the Coca-Cola 600 at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Peace.